Monday's heavy storms created big problems for several small communities, including Union Grove. Our crews reported power lines snapped in half by trees and even driveways blocked by fallen debris. As Queen City News reporter Daniel Pierce also found, the damage left by Mother Nature was met with a massive effort by neighbors to help one another find their way out of the debris. Because it's neighbors helping neighbors. We haven't forgot that up here. It takes seconds for a tree to topple onto a power line or on a neighbor's only access point to their house. It takes half that time for Union Grove community members to assemble and respond. Well, uh, a lot of trees down. <laughs> it's hot. So, yeah, and just people working together. It's what we do. Monday storms brought hail, rain, and disastrous winds to Iredell County. Here on Myers Mill Road, it broke the roots of a dozen trees and pushed them onto the road. As you get older, you you are, you have a little more fear of of uh, any kind of wind, height, whatever. A few streets over, the small makeshift force spent about an hour cutting through tree after tree to get to a couple whose dirt driveway was blocked. Toby Nicholson said, "This is just everyday people not waiting for large crews to come and rescue them, showing their strength in their community." Uh, well, I had two pine trees right there. We cut out of the way pretty quick. And then, uh, of course, the neighbor brought, he's the chief of the fire department up there, and brought his skid steer down here and got that out of the way. He works for, how you say, Asplunt, and he's my neighbor, so he come over and he cut most of the logs out so he could push it with the skid steer. And that's Donnie. We're on the same fire department, but he works for Energy United, so we just, it's neighbors helping neighbors. That's all we do here.